Hello, so today we are going to be doing our assignment on line three. Count me in. Line three is on page six of your Tradition of Excellence book. Last video, I showed you how to play a D and an E flat. Remember that you can always check on the fingering chart. The fingering chart is a diagram of your left hand and your right hand and your thumb, okay? And that is gonna be your best bet if you forget how to do the fingering. That or watching my uh, videos from the previous assignments, okay? So if we look, the first thing we need to do when we learn a new line is identify what's in the line. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna go to line three and I'm gonna go through and identify everything. So measure one, I have a whole note D. Measure two, I have a whole rest. Measure three, I have a whole note E flat. Measure four is a whole rest. Measure five, we have a whole note D. Measure six, we have a whole rest. Measure seven, we have a whole note E flat. And measure eight, we have a whole rest. Now I'm gonna finger through those, make sure I have them. So I've got a D, then a rest, then an E flat, then I have a rest, then I have a D, then I have a rest, and an E flat. When you're on your rest, that's when you're gonna wanna switch your fingers for the next note coming, okay? I am going to play line three. Make sure you're tonguing your notes. Make sure you're staying with your head up, that your fingers are nice and curved, and that our shoulders are down, and that our flute is out like this. And I'm gonna tap my foot, and of course, I'm using my metronome. Here we go, line three. Switching my fingers here. Two, three. Make sure that on your rest, the beat four is when you breathe for the next measure, okay? If you have any trouble, go ahead and message me. Otherwise, record yourself once you learn the line. Thank you.